was a crazy little tomboy growing up in Houston, Texas. There wasn't a lot that scared me. The one thing that did scare me was spiders. It helped to get over that fear when my teacher read Charlotte's Web aloud. But the one thing that changed my mind about spiders forever was spider web art. Spider Web Farm is a man named Will Knight, and he started purely by accident. He was cleaning his garage one day, spray painting a few things, and he accidentally spray painted an orb spider's web white. He marveled at how beautiful it was. And then he set it aside. He had work to do. Flash forward, he gets laid off from his job with the highway department, and he wonders, what kind of cottage industry could he create? That's when the spider webs came back to him. So he created two spider web art buildings. They were red barns. And he suspended from the rafters of the barns giant windows, frames, 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 but no glass. And he waited for the spiders. They moved in and spun their webs. He didn't rush them. He didn't even scatter them away. He waited until their time was up. And then he began the harvest. He sprayed them with white paint. And then very gently, very carefully, he pressed a piece of stained wood up against the spider web, which was sticky from the paint. Now it wasn't very sturdy because the spider web is very fragile. And so he had to lacquer the top to keep them secure. And then he started selling them. He sold them for $30 and $40. He sold them at craft fairs all over New England, and he sells them on the internet. This guy's so into spiders, he has spider web tattoos on his elbows. He has sold 16,000 pieces of spider web art. And although he thinks they're beautiful, he does not take credit for the beauty. He says that belongs to the orb spiders. That doesn't win you over to spiders. I don't know what will.